Dear Scorpio, this is a reading about your next relationship. Will you meet somebody soon? With me, Queen of Cups Tarot. And this reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. And for Scorpio, this will be a reading about your next relationship. Will you meet somebody soon? Where I will scan the ether to find your next relationship and how this relationship might develop. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. And I usually read for the empath side of the story. Also remember that the other person holds your shadow that you mirror out to the world so you can be able to see it. In the end, you need to use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this general reading for you. And if you want to watch the channel's readings in advance and free from ads, you can become an extended member to the channel. I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week and personal readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check out the different levels through the join button or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. And I use the Telema Tarot for the readings part and I will start shuffling your cards. When I open your deck here I see two of swords together with Queen of Wands. Uh, it seems like you're trying to let go of uh, some old connection or some type of connection like a certain um, it can be I don't want to be in dramatic relationships anymore or I don't want to be in a relationship where people don't communicate and it seems like you're doing a good job with not caring here it's like you're putting uh, something to rest and you're trying to you know do your best to not care and to respect yourself okay so I call the divine with love and light and here we have the sun card uh, together with the queen of wands so it shows um, healing that you have taken in your opposite side and uh, uh, you're standing in your soul's power. So that must be a really good sign for meeting your um, meeting your one true love or at least meeting someone because this is the highest card for love in the major arcana. So I definitely feel like you have done some kind of quantum leap when it comes to your personal growth. Uh, but it might also be that you have left a soulmate behind. <laughs> so for some of you, it will be like that. Okay, so I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and we see the lovers together with the queen of wands and uh, uh, i feel that you have learned to love yourself in a much deeper way and to have a partner inside of us we also need to install a, or have a partner in our life we also need to install a partner inside of us and if we want people to be grown up we need to be the grown up also to ourselves if we want people to love us we need to love ourselves but uh, the cards are, of course, indicating that you have left uh, something that you love behind and you're trying to not care about it. Okay, so I call the six elements and here we have five of wands and queen of wands. It's like I said in the beginning, you don't want the drama of it all. You don't want the same stupid things repeating over and over again in your life. So you're trying to not be, you know, so outgiving. You're trying to be the one that uh, that walks away and... Uh, you still have all these things to give that you had in the past. It's just that you want to you decide for yourself who to give it to. So that's not strange at all. And I'm thinking you're doing great also with being kind of a little bit cold in this situation. Um, I'm thinking it's um, it must be very healthy for you. It must be a relief for you to be able to put something that you loved so much behind and uh, choose yourself right now. So we'll see what that will bring you when it comes to uh, your next relationship. Will you meet somebody soon? Okay. So I will just tune in for a few seconds here to you and uh, this new relationship or your future relationship. So this will be future development for you in love and this is the now and moving into the future. So we see the two of cups so it's probably someone that you already have uh, like the hots for but uh, you don't believe that anything can come out of this but you're very attracted 
uh, to this person and it seems like they are very attracted to you as well they might be a little bit like a weaker person they can't put you know one foot in front of the other and move forward uh, into what they want they need to be like oh do I really want it or is it really for me or uh, can I manage this and you know be worried and have second thoughts and being a little bit helpless okay and this is um, further into the future and uh, I'm roughly seeing the same story here that um, you are trying to block away conflicts and <laughs> but when love comes it also comes with the same type of uh, situations unfortunately because it's your job also to face these uh, challenges and grow from them so you can't really you know totally skip out if you want love in your life you're going to have to deal with some level of drama as well um, but maybe for now you need a little bit of vacation and be able to say no and then when you feel more ready you can you know let the challenge begin <laughs> okay and then now here ace of wands ten of pentacles you want something for real you're aimed towards that you want something for real something tangible something that where both people are mature adult and contribute to a healthy and uh, like prosperous situation ten of pentacles is like getting it's like a payday or the house that you buy with your loved one or the kids that you get or your relatives and how you spend christmas so you want all these kind of things you're aimed towards it you don't want uh, the bullshit okay you want the happy uh, happy um, stable relationship and here we have a three of pentacles so it seems like you're putting your best foot forward in a more your more ordinary relationship let's say friendship family work related relationship you're really doing a good job here uh, but i'm seeing you holding a singles energy where you're doing great things for you in your life preparing yourself uh, to be able to be with a partner and have something to offer but then of course you want to meet someone that also have something to offer when you have put in this uh, great work this is your goal um, having success in life and with other people and this is how you what you do to reach that goal you to put your best foot forward and you do what's great for you uh, in, in the now for example uh, being successful at work because you put really good um, you organize your work well, you are smart with what you do and it can be uh, nurturing your friendship relationships by being really nice, inviting people in, uh, being a good hostess, things like this. Nine of Pentacles is connected to the Hermit so it shows that you are the center, center figure here. It's not that you are doing this for anyone else, it's like you're doing this for you to make your life better and to you know, have more success both in uh, relationships uh, and uh, work and uh, other areas of your life where you want success. So you're really taking responsibility for yourself here and now. And then we have a seven of cups. So you probably would want someone to share this with, but uh, you have felt um, a little bit out of tune because uh, probably from what I saw here, um, <laughs> you have been dealing with people that maybe were not living up to your expectations um, even though there was love here they didn't live up to your expectations and um, the question is if they can uh, you probably need to be in relationships that rubs you a little bit the wrong way so certain things can be solved uh, we all have our wounds and uh, when we meet someone that's that means a lot to us uh, usually those wounds will be a little bit poked at but it's also a chance to heal them to give attention to them and heal them let's say that you are a super cool person when you are a single singles person and you don't you don't become particularly upset you don't become particularly dramatic you're not particularly angry with other people but then you come into a relationship and you start to become jealous possessive um, upset angry feeling like a victim you know exploding your head all over the place <laughs> and that is what you have left to do and it needs to happen because 
someone said, if you think you're so enlightened, if you think you're so, you know, you have control over this, uh, go and spend the week with your parents. Uh, because usually when we, when we are on our own, things go smoothly. When we do things together with others, it's not as smoothly because then their triggers, our triggers, their drama, our drama is coming up to the surface and needs to be dealt with. And it needs to be dealt with. That's why it comes up. It's not uh, coming up just to bother you or to, you know, make you get, uh, pull your hair or get gray hair. It's so that you will heal and become a more and more free person, a more and more happy person, a more and more healed person. So you have some healing to do, but right now you're focusing on like living your best life and, and kind of, no, I don't want to do that challenging part. Can we please skip that? Ace of Cups, so Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, something coming in with passion and we have the Emperor here. Uh, so I would say that you have your partner here, the dream that you wanted, it's coming in here uh, with the two Aces and the, um, the Ten of Pentacles and the Emperor. So it's what you wanted and it's here at your door, but uh, I'm sure it's not going to come for free. Uh, this is someone that can, you know, be stable, stay with you, um, build for the future, uh, be your person, have your back. But they're going to require things back from you and they're not always going to see things your way. And um, this is, it's two people. Uh, they are not here as a marionette to be uh, to fulfill a certain part of your life. They are their own unique person, and we need to respect respect that. <clears throat> here we have the hangman. Uh, hangman is twelve. One plus two, three. So these two are connected. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Someone is being very stubborn, refusing to do the job. But I have a little bit hard time determine if that's you because here you're doing a good job and then suddenly you get like all cranky and this person comes with love but then they also become all cranky uh, so <laughs> we'll see where it goes this is anyway the divine feminine energy this is divine masculine energy so it's kind of indicate that the, the divine feminine energy here is becoming cranky so either you're a male and being very like usually very open, empathic and outgiving to people, you might become cranky. If you are a female and you have these attributes, you might become also like feel as if um, you don't want to give to this person for some reason, even though they come with love and this sincere offer here. Maybe you're waiting for the other shoe to drop or you don't trust to let them in. But since it comes Ace of Cups, Emperor, Hangman, it also affects them. So it's like both of you are meeting here in the middle and become a little bit cranky and a little bit, no, I don't want to do that. I can do whatever, but not just that. Ten of Wands, Four of Swords. This is definitely two people that doesn't want to do the work uh, in the relationship. They don't want to have the trouble. So they'd rather ignore each other and pretend that there's no love there or I don't care and I'm never going to talk to them again than to actually... Uh, you know, face uh, your issues or face your resistance or face your refusal and see what, what, where does it come from? Why are you refusing? What are you scared of? What are you afraid going to happen? What would it mean if the other shoe drop? What is it that you are building up to? Because when we are scared of something, we usually end up creating it. And it's a little bit what I see. You have the best vision here and it comes to you. Uh, but then it seems like both of you are saying no thank you because you're deciding to keep your cool or to be, you know, this, a strong person. Uh, if I see this now in the new light, it would be that there's an amazing love coming in. Um, it's uh, with a wheel here, so it comes with challenges, of course, things that you haven't solved just yet. But then we get, we feel I'm getting so dramatic in these relationships. We feel that I always meet some people like that are like this. I can't take it. So we decide to um, kind of sit above our own desires that we want someone and maybe just stay adult, but also not engage in this. But as I see it, it's a good opportunity, but maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. I will clarify what this person here is uh, coming with. Uh, I will fight for our love. Yeah, we can read it like this too, that a, a person has been, uh, there has been a love 
a situation here and um, in some way it became a little bit dramatic like people have wounds memories from childhood past life that comes up to the surface but here the person wants to fight uh, for for the love here uh, hero love uh, <laughs> emperor so someone that's uh, ready to put their best foot forward so it can be read in so many different ways. So it's probably that you don't want to, like you want to be strong enough to not need this person. Um, and that might be part of the conflict here as well. Yeah, I want to find someone new. So this might be someone from your past that you already love. It's an Ace of Cups, so it indicates it's a new, uh, but we see that there's a long story uh, underneath here in the cards and we have the Ten of Cups just here. Um, so, uh, and the two of cups is there so it shows that you already love someone initially and you try to manage without them life is though not particularly fun without them and um, here they come again and wants to be your hero but you want to find someone new i'm walking through the dark night of my soul i think both of you are maybe you are not just ready for having a reconciliation or with someone from the old past or a new relationship with a new soulmate um, maybe you are too preoccupied with going through your own uh, traumas, karmas, dramas and to be in a relationship would make the work too intense uh, because then you would really have to be faced with a lot of things on a day-to-day -day basis. Now maybe it comes one thing a week but if you were in a relationship it might be like all the time every day because it becomes so much in your face because the relationship is important to you. Uh, so you get very triggered. So this is basically what I'm seeing, but also that people think that I can exchange this old one for someone new and then it will be better. You know, wherever you go, there you are. <laughs> so you're still going to have to work through this, what it is that you're refusing to work through. Okay, so I'll take more cards about this uh, mysterious emperor here. Uh, <laughs> the map maker of destiny. Mm, that's kind of sweet. Authentic purpose, inspiration, free will. So this is, a, it's like an opportunity for you. And the person comes with, like the soul comes with sincere, uh, it's a sincere offer. But it's up to you if you will take it or not. And when the map, ma ma map maker of destiny appears, it's a sign that you're being given an opportunity to transform fate into destiny. At birth, each human being is given a unique map with myriad paths that intersect with one another. Your map of destiny shows all the places you're meant to visit, places where you will be challenged to evolve into your highest aspect of, of the self. Turning page. Uh, re remember that you're a spark of the divine uh, and you come to earth to experience itself in a human form. As such, your path is unique. It's also somewhat preordinated and fate represents the events in your life that were meant to happen and that you can't change. Fate is transformed into destiny according to how you respond to your circumstances. Destiny offers you the ability to make great opportunities out of a fated experience. So free will and choice are possible at certain points on your map. Now is one of those times. You are faced with a relationship or circumstances brought to you by fate. How you respond will lead you into your perfect destiny. Your ally may assume the form of a soulmate that comes to heal your heart and be your companion. Perhaps your challengers make you face the things within you that must change in order for you to express your highest good. Maybe fate brings you an ally in the form of a wonderful new project or a challenger in the form of something that seemingly fails. No matter which form they take, all are perfect expression of fate inviting you into your destiny. Pay attention as your map unfolds now and remember that fate makes the map but destiny is determined by the manner in which you engage in your journey. Uh, so it's, it seems like this is an offer and you are saying no thank you to it and it could since it comes the both the ten of pentacles the emperor and the ace of cups also the strength here it shows that it's kind of a little bit of a hero energy and um, it's the one <laughs> at least the one for now and you say no um i know this i know this person i know this type uh it's going to be bullshit i'm saying no thank you uh, so you don't even want to try to do 
the job as it seems. Uh, see if we have something more here. Um, the resting tree, <laughs> oh, patience, stillness, and it came as a challenger. Uh, number 22. The resting tree appearing as a challenger asks you to consider if you are so frenetic that all you can think about is how stressed you are. Um, it's like the Ten of Wands card here. Uh, running around and overdoing anything only makes you into a human doing, not a human being. Uh, this is a sign to be careful or you may become physically ill or at uh, the very least unable to enjoy your life. See if there was anything more to this. Yes. Uh, be still. It's time to meditate and take time out, or you will make some mistakes that you may regret later. Don't worry, all those things you're trying to manage will still be there when you're ready to move forward again. Only then will you have a clearer head with which to think. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's like you're having an overreaction, almost like it comes a soulmate, but you're allergic, allergic to it. So you just have a. Uh, you get too tired to to embrace the situation or uh, you immediately say no thank you and ghost the other person it might be that the other person will do this towards you as well but um, it can go that way way as well we don't have we can only control ourselves we can't control the other person fork in the road so you're definitely in a place where you need to make a choice and it's a destined choice here but it's okay, you can choose whatever road you want. Uh, it's, it's no biggie. Uh, time to make a decision, considering the consequences as you prepare to act, owning up to your obligation to make a necessary choice. Every choice has a consequence. You're arrived at a fork in the road and are being asked to come to a decision. Will you further your dreams by choosing left or by choosing right? Will you take the road less traveled or the one well worn by others who have come before you? This is your choice and yours alone to make. Circumstances and other people will not make it for you. Be present and do not avoid this junction, for it's an important one. Take heart as no matter which path you choose, you will have a rich and meaningful experience. You've reached a moment of truth in the evolution of your relationships. Which will, uh, which will you choose? To open up to the possibility of love or to remain isolated? To go deeper and commit to mutual passion or to walk away? This is the time to take responsibility for your truest desire and follow it. Be honest with yourself about what you're willing to do, invest and give, then choose. You cannot make a wrong choice. If you move forward within a relationship, know that it will be based in truth and authenticity. You will have made a conscious decision rather than simply hanging on because you don't want to be alone or ending things because you're afraid of the intensity of a genuine connection. All roads lead to the lesson you must learn in your relationships. Regardless of the decision you make, it will place you on the path to a truer experience of the heart. So we'll always learn more and more. Something that seemingly be a, can be a mistake will later turn out to be a, a great teaching. So... Uh, you don't have to worry. <laughs> it's just that, uh, it's just that maybe sometimes we go faster along on this road together with someone else where we are challenged than if we just run away from the lesson. Okay. Loyal lo loyalty thirty three. Sometimes we can be too loyal as well. So we want love so much that we can't say no to it, even if it presents itself in a very bad way. So you have chosen the symbol of loyalty and this means you are being called to stand up for who and what you believe in. Do you know the story of the beautiful vampire who saw the good in another and remained steadfast in her love against all odds? Loyalty is tested at times and you may be asked to assess whether others deserve your loyalty or not. Sometimes you find yourself in a position where it's difficult to speak up for another person, a cause or even for yourself. Now is the time to be faithful to your best qualities and to leave the rest behind. This is a true test of character. I know you will choose rightly. Stand up for what you believe in and be loyal only to what is true and what is good. Uh, okay. So also take from uh, the little hearts deck here. 
to see if there's something we can we have missed okay create opportunities so instead of saying no to opportunities you are creating opportunities here but then uh, even though you do your best and put your best foot forward you still end up feeling miserable and it might be that you're missing something or someone in your life so if you create a little bit more opportunities in, instead of just saying you know no 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 it can have a, a good effect uh, say hello to someone you don't know so maybe that's the way you will meet your the one if you keep yourself too isolated and think that ah, they are never going to love me anyway or they are just going to turn out to be a player or uh, they would laugh at my face if I talk to them um, maybe you would miss a fated you know <laughs> a destined and fated opportunity here with this the one it's the ace of cups here so it can be flirting uh, and um, you know saying hello to someone and a relationship needs to start in some way so create some opportunities for yourself. Don't uh, stay in the assumption that you will be alone forever uh, because then you will maybe not even see this person comes along. So try to stay open. Try to, you know, put your, your seeds out there. You can practice also flirting with a lot of people and also handling when they actually say yes because that might also be a problem for some of you that you are more scared that they will say yes to your invitation than to say no because if they say yes you might feel oh maybe i didn't really love this person or i wasn't really interested in this person uh, i just thought i were where and now i need to go on a date with this person so there might be so many different things behind um, that you are a little bit closed off not you're not closed off to the ordinary things of life, but the extraordinary things of life, they seem to be out of reach for you, you think. And when they come, you're just waiting for the other shoe to drop for something, you know, to show that it was just bogus. And then it ends up being bogus because probably the other person will be able to sense your unwillingness to, you know, make um, a more romantic journey <laughs> than to just be... I know how this is going to end, <laughs> okay? So I would urge you to watch the reading. There are true thoughts and feelings for your sign in the true thoughts and feelings playlist or the love reading for July or August that will probably reveal more. You can also watch next three months love prediction from last week to get the development of this story into the future and get a deeper understanding about your situation. And uh, if you want to watch the channel's readings in advance and ads free, you can become an extended member to the channel. I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week and personal readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check out the different level through the join button or follow the link in the description box to learn more. And thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay blessed and bye bye.